Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing some more Bit Life. It helps fill the void because of, you know, not having a life. Oh, I made myself sad. Oh, what's this? Heirlooms. Look for one each day. <laughs> you see, it's working. Wait, a next heirloom in seven hours, but I never looked for one. This person is going to be called Lightbulb because I think... Uh, this person was a good idea and they'll have a good life. I also paid for their like premium membership thing so we won't get bombarded with ads again, which is just a lot <laughs> if you don't get it. I just have this thing where I don't like paying money on free apps. I, I don't know why, because if an app was like five euros, I might buy it. But if it's free and then the premium version is five euros, I'll hardly ever buy it. <laughs> All right, light bulb, born in Boston. Start lights life. Oh, that's really nice. <coughs> Shut up, I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do now that I've grown up a little bit. I have no money, but I'm sure I can still do some stuff. Look, freelance gigs, pet sitter. Maybe I could steal their dog. Okay, I got 30 hours worth of work. <laughs> Light bulb has all the good ideas. I'm gonna shop for a pet. I'm gonna buy a purebred dog. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It must be good. We named it Tank. <laughs> it looked tiny. I'm gonna free it into the wild. I'm sure it'll prefer that release. Yes, you brought Tank to the countryside to forever run wild with a packet. Dogs, they're gonna eat him. He was tiny. Can I get another dog? I lost the other one. They won't give me another pet. Oh, you wait till I'm old. I'm gonna have so many kids and so many pets and set them all and free into the wild. <laughs> wait, I'm suffering from pink eye. What the shit? No, I can't take my driving license test. I have pink eye. He's saying I'm a teacher's pet. We'll see what the teacher has to say about this. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want something really good. I want to be feckin' rich. Maybe psychology or engineering. Which gets more money? I could be a pretty good cashier if I had good math. I'll do that. Yes, my parents pay. Thank God. Look, I'm $330 up. We should commit some crimes. <laughs> no, I want to adopt a child. Why? Just because I'm 17? That's ageism. Can I sue them? <laughs> okay, I'm going to be a golden boy until it allows me to gather loads of children. Then I can be bad. Why are they not interested in my sperm? At least give me a reason. Oh, my girlfriend's relationship is great. Let's have a baby. Yes, she's pregnant. <laughs> Had a baby son. His name can be Q? Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I meant to type one, but now he's Q-bulb. I'll ask my girlfriend for money. She's broke. What the hell? It's not like you have any financial responsibilities all of a sudden, do you? Yes, more babies. Can I adopt now? Will it let me? I'm still too young. You're being ridiculous. I have two of my own. <laughs> I've proved I can do it. Okay, this one. Oh, wait, you can't name it numbers. What the hell? That's not a thing, is it? <laughs> like, if I have a child and I want to name him one, that's legal, right? I mean, I could just spell it, I guess. <laughs> Why am I losing money? <laughs> it's as if kids are expensive. Can I give you up for adoption? Or Maybe I could just break up with her. Yeah, break up. Okay, now do I have to still take care of children? I don't think I do. Uh, no vaccinations, please. <laughs> They're expensive. How am I losing money? Porn cameraman. Why does that pay more than a junior financial analyst? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Why didn't I just study porn in college instead? <laughs> I graduated. Yes. Okay, look for a job. Computer programmer. Yes, go for that. I lack the requirements. Yeah, I guess that's not really math, is it? They're just, they both use numbers, I guess. That's why I went for it. Pornographic historian? Why is there so much? Why? <laughs> a mail carrier. Come on. No one. Seriously? Oh, I think I picked the wrong thing in university. Can I go back? <laughs> Please. Will my parents pay for it? Your application to medical school was rejected. Not qualified. Well, if I was qualified, I wouldn't need to go back to school, would I? Just give me anything. Please. Oh, trucker, that gives you a good bit of money. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get that either. Yes, I'm a firefighter. Well, actually, no, I got the interview to be a firefighter. Yes, I got hired. Perfect. It's unusual. I'm usually the one starting the fire. But maybe I get paid on like how many fires I put out and then I could just start loads of them. You meet a female. Okay, that's good enough for me. <laughs> she rejected me. And I got promoted. This is going fantastic. I'm getting money. How many children can I adopt now? No children available to adopt. I'm pretty sure my kids are up for adoption. I'm putting him up for adoption. Yeah, get out of here. You gave away your son. <laughs> Even though I think that wasn't just my decision to make. Yeah, you're, you're gone too. Why am I unhappy? <laughs> Alright, I need something to take my mind off of things. Go to the gym once. There we go. I don't even care about my kids anymore. I just care about pumping iron. Adoption. Come on. You rejected me for no reason. I bet that was my other kid, wasn't it, that I was trying to adopt? Wait, do I still have pink eye? <laughs> oh no, I don't have it. Okay. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. I had it for a few years. You can't think of anyone to sue right now. This is America. <laughs> I can sue anyone. My little sister Ramona moved out. She and her husband Jack had a baby boy named Clayton Septic Eye. <laughs> for 
feck's sake. What else do you need? I got a good job. I look good. Uh, who wants my sperm? Yes, they took it. Buy it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I wish you could just select spend all money on lottery. Must be rigged when I didn't win. That's what I feel like. Every time I buy a lottery ticket, which is super rare, I'm like, I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> and when I don't, I'm like, this is ridiculous. All right, I need to find someone to love then because I need to make children. I found a backpack. Yeah, keep it. It's mine now. What? Someone started arguing with you because you took her backpack. Then just give it back to her. <laughs> Why do I have to walk away or argue back? They had another baby and named it Chuck the guy. Why is she having more success having kids? And I can't adopt and they won't tell me why. I'm this close to committing crimes. I'll get surgery. That's the problem. Give me some plastic surgery. I'll take feckin' everything. What do you got for me? Give me a Botox. Yes, it was successful. Eyelid surgery. What does that even do? Can you get them removed? They're always in the way. I can't see because of them half the time. And plus, it would stop my subreddit posting pictures of me with my eyes closed. <laughs> yes, it was successful. My looks are 100% now. <laughs> Those pesky eyelids were tying me down. Liposuction. I already look amazing. What am I doing? My happiness, health, and looks are off the charts. Wait, I failed the interview. They won't even allow me to adopt a dog. Why does everyone hate me when I look this fabulous? I thought life was supposed to be easier if you looked good. A dingo? Yes. Haas, more like loss, and I'm gonna set you free. <laughs> off into the wild, good fella. Your girlfriend Madison is arguing with you because you released your dingo, loss. <laughs> you screamed at your girlfriend. <laughs> like that was his name. We had to get rid of him. It's like my name is Lightbulb and I have all these good ideas. I want another exotic pet. God damn it, they're out of stock. All right, I'll just take a normal pet. I'll take a Shih Tzu, please. <laughs> and I'm gonna call it Shih Tzu, but you know, the, the other type. <laughs> go free. Wait, no, I don't want money for it. I'm doing this just for good karma. Off you go. Oh, she's pregnant. How did that happen? It suggested that I call him Dick and just because his name will be Dick Bulb, yeah, you can go ahead with that. <laughs> you are the proud father of a baby boy named Dick Bulb. That is very unfortunate. Look, I have a Dick Bulb. Will you give me another child? <laughs> Feck you, penis enlargement. Go for it. It was botched. Yes, I have someone to sue. <laughs> I was hoping you'd fail my penis enlargement surgery. The Destroyer and Dempsey. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go with them. You lost. Why? <laughs> God damn it. Give me another one. I'm going back to the same doctor. <laughs> she refused to see me. <laughs> All right, you, give me the surgery. It was botched. I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for 100,000. The destroyer and Dempsey, go ahead. Yes, I won. I won 100 grand. And all it cost me was my penis. Can I still have kids? Oh, she's angry at me. Oh my God, we got in a heated argument. I apologize. Come on, let's just make things better so I can make her pregnant again. And then we'll break up. Give her money out of the lawsuit. Give her her dues. She'll get five bucks. She doesn't want my money. Why? <laughs> all right, now that I've complimented you, will you have a baby? I hate you. <laughs> I'm starting to think that that light bulb here might be an incel. <laughs> All right, let's give her more money. I'll buy her friendship or w wife, this baby, baby pregnantness. Okay, now that I've given you a thousand dollars, let's have a baby. God, uh, feck off. Why won't she have a baby? Like what's, is it, is it the botch penis surgery? Be honest. <laughs> I'll give her another thousand bucks. Baby time. Next year, next year we'll do it. Oh, now I've been diagnosed with bunions. My gene pool is ruined. <laughs> buy 10 tickets? Come on. I'm starting to think the lottery actually is very low odds because I'm just not winning it. No, it can't be. <laughs> right, look, we're breaking up. You're not having children with me and it's pissing me off, to be honest. I'm gonna find someone else who makes stupid life decisions. <laughs> Unlike me, light bulb. Oh my God, her craziness is off the chart. Go on a date. <laughs> yes, just my type. <laughs> All right, you're crazy. You'll have a baby with me. God, she even has crazy eyes. Doesn't want to have a baby with me. What if I gave you loads of money? <laughs> and what if I proposed to you? Yes, accept it. Now I just gotta kill her and get all the money. Wait, can I get an exotic pet before I murder her? <laughs> Bengal tiger? <laughs> yeah, buy him. Name him Child Eater. All right, let's murder the wife and try and get some money. No, not my ex. That won't benefit me at all. Oh, wait, we're not actually married yet. She's my fiance. Whew, that was close. We don't want that happening. Oh, wait, she had a baby with me now. Okay, awesome. She got an abortion anyway. I openly asked you, did you want a baby? <laughs> you said yes. And then you got an abortion? She's definitely dying. She's feckin' insane. All right, wedding. Plan the wedding. We're gonna get married at a golf course in Vietnam. <laughs> it's very specific. Specific. Yeah, it costs 20,000. Do it. That's fine. It's demanding you sign a prenup. She's insane. I mean, if I kill her, I'd still get it, right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> now that you're married, you're wondering if you should change your last name. <laughs> it's like, here's my opportunity to get away from Bulb and be Buffett. But no, now we murder her. Wait, you know what? I'll wait till next year so I'll have more money for a good defense lawyer. She's pregnant. Yeah, let's keep the baby, dear. Let's see what happens. There we go. Your name is Mom is a Bitch. You are the proud father of a baby girl named Mom is a Bitch Bulb. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go. I have 150 grand. I can get out of this. Stairway to hell. Commit the murder. She died. Yes, my wife is dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, Destroyer and Dempsey. No, yo, we're supposed to be bros. Oh, I've been busted for feck's sake. And now I was fired. And where's the money? Where did it go? Do you not get the money if you murder people? <laughs> I have depression. That's it. We're escaping. Wait, appeal the sentence. I can afford the Destroyer. You lost the appeal. I, I lost all my money. Your tiger child leader died. He died of starvation. <laughs> I guess I didn't let anyone feed him. No, he couldn't get his hands on any children. All right, attempt to escape. All right, how do I do this again? Easy. I am out. That was so feckin' simple. Why does it always end up with me going to jail? And why can't I win the lottery? <laughs> While you were on a flight, a lady named Briona Mayweather asked you if you'd like to join the Mile High Club. Fuck it, take her to bed. <laughs> it's like, I don't think that's how it works. You had a one-night stand with Briona Mayweather. She asked you if that's all you got. I had a botch surgery, okay? <laughs> My looks are still 96. That's not bad. I'm doing well for a guy who murdered his wife and went to jail. Bet a hundred bucks. I can, uh, I can do this. I won. That's all I needed. No, we're leaving. Mom is a bitch bulb. How are you doing? You got any money? I'll just abandon her. <laughs> you abandoned your daughter. Mom is a bitch. Turns out dad is a bigger bitch. All right, we need someone rich to support me here, please. Oh my god, she's even crazier than the last. Go on a date. <laughs> Could we get married? She rejected me. I'm no longer suffering from depression. Job referral? Yes, water slide tester. Take the job. I'm a criminal, but I know a good water slide when I see one. All right, she absolutely adores me. Surely she'll marry me now. Despite all my faults, you know, like murdering my last wife. <laughs> no, she rejected. I should have said nothing. Ask her for money. Uh, why can't you help me? I know you've got loads. Okay, she'll have a baby with me. Oh, she lost the baby. That is tragic. Let's have another. Come on. She doesn't want one anymore. So you change your mind just like that, do you? While testing a water slide at work, your bathing suit slips off, leaving you completely naked. <laughs> Ask the lifeguard for help for some reason. <laughs> Please dress me. I'm suffering from constipation. God damn it. Life is so tough. No, God damn it. Why can no one treat my bunions? Can you at least sort my constipation then? Thank you. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> You've been handcuffed and taken into American custody. What? Why? And sent back to prison. How did they get me? I was fired by Mr. Royalty? What a stupid name. <laughs> Coming from Mr. Bulb. <laughs> appeal. Appeal. I can get out of this. I lost the appeal. The system is rigged. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do I get out of this one? Okay. He, he caught me. For sake. No. Stop. 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 I want to get out of prison. <laughs> Oh, I went one too far. God damn it. If it wasn't so laggy, I'd get out of there. Yes, I got out. All right. Does my wife still kind of like me? No, she hates me. You know what, Trisha? Give me money. All right, fine. We're breaking up then. You're out of here. I don't care if you're rich. Well, I do, but if you won't give me any, I don't care. Ah, uh, Dick Bulb's doing pretty well, I think. Do you have any money? Oh, fecker. Useless. Abandon him. Abandon Dick Bulb. See you later, Dick Bulb. Really lived up your name, didn't you? I asked my son Dick for money, but he said he is broke. I abandoned my son Dick. <laughs> okay, good. I'm cured of the depression. I need to get another baby, I think. No, you know what I need? I need a feckin' job. <laughs> Maybe I can go back into the water slide business. I got a lot of experience. Perfect fit. I knew it. No one can test a water slide like me. No one. Your nephew Clayton passed away at 26. He died from a cocaine overdose. I'm busy trying to make more babies so I can abandon them. Please cure my bunions. <sighs> Why does it make such a cheery noise when it's like, you continue suffering from bunions? While testing a water slide, it works on the fiberglass from the slide gets lodged into the skin on your body. Try to go home early. We can, we can sue them. Okay, can we sue them? Can we sue them? Please. Why won't you sue them? <laughs> Let's get someone really old. 80 plus with a load of income. Okay, good, good. We found someone. They're 70 and they're, they're earning loads of money. Yeah, go on a date. She's the same second name as the other person I dated. <laughs> Carola Mayweather. Are they related? <laughs> He's there like as an opening line. Oh yeah, I may have killed your daughter, but when I was on trial, I saw you down there in the court and oof. <laughs> <laughs> no! I tried to be good. I called an ambulance for someone who's overdosing and then the cops showed up and they arrested me. You've lost the appeal. Oh, come on, my wife is rich. Why isn't she forking up some money to get me a good appeal? Wait, this looks easy. I'll just walk out the feckin' door. Oh, I love these prisons. <laughs> you discover that your girlfriend Carla has an escort profile online. Isn't she like 80? Forgive and forget. <laughs> God, all my <laughs> relationships just look awful. She died of cancer of the rump. Do I get any money? I, we didn't marry yet. Why is everything bad happen to me? Okay, a retired trucker. Jen Peckerman. Jen, I need you to marry me. Is that okay? Why Why do they always reject me? I can get a job as a janitor. Perfect. Thank you for hiring me, even with my past. Okay, she absolutely adores me. It's almost full. Please, marry me. What do I have to do besides be a good person? She died. 
I'm never going to get rich at all. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's my father. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Jesus. Ask her for money. Can I have money? You won't marry me and you won't give me money. What is the point in this relationship? I bet it's the feckin' and penis enlargement problem, isn't it? I'm gonna go get another surgery. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I sued both of them, didn't I? <laughs> no one's gonna see me. <laughs> God damn it, I can't get any surgery now because they're the only ones that actually do surgery in this town. And I can't emigrate somewhere else to get different surgery because I'm gonna get arrested. Okay, this relationship is just doomed. She's 78 and I'm 65. <laughs> Might be a bit late to be looking for someone new, but I'm gonna try. A 95 year old. Okay, perfect. Rejected. I hate old people. <sighs> Now my mother died. Wait, oh, I got 625,000! Attend her funeral. She deserves it. Look at all this money Lightbulb just got. I can break up with the other one now. I don't care about her. Get out of here. Wait, first of all, do you want to marry me? Wait, uh, now she does. Oh, now I have money! Turns out you were the gold digger at age 97. Your co-worker just bought and presented you with an expensive gift. Oh, now everyone loves me, don't they? Well, accept it and then buy him nothing. Uh, demanding that we get married. Oh, yeah, I forgot we need to do that. Yeah, let's plan the wedding. A barn in Colombia. Yeah, Perfect. I'm cheaping out now. Four grand. She has more money than me. We don't need a prenup. My wife Luna passed away at the age 101. <laughs> Ah, that's a weird reaction to that. I have 1.5 million. <laughs> I've done well. <laughs> well, actually, no, other people have done well and then died. <laughs> no, she's not my type. I, they were asking me, do I want to ask her on a date? But she's 80. I want to look for someone who's like 20. <laughs> 18 to 19. <laughs> oh, no luck. What a surprise. Oh, I'm going to have to go for someone in their 30s. Let's try that. No luck. Why does no one want an old man with tons of money? Okay, a 40 year old. It's still like half my age. Let's have a baby. Why not? I gotta spend all this money I have before I die. I want an exotic pet. <laughs> a cat. That's it? A bobcat. Okay, get him, I guess. Not that exciting. I'm gonna name him Shit Pet. Oh, I'm gonna call him Shit Petter, actually. I'm gonna buy the most expensive mansion they got. Buy it with cash. There you go. I got arrested. No, I have money. I can get out of this. Appeal. Appeal. I've got tons of money now. I can do this. Oh, why did I buy that mansion? <laughs> I can never afford Grognak to destroy a attorney at law. I love how I put in Grognak the Destroyer and they actually made them an attorney. Oh, for feck's sake, how am I supposed to do this? All right, up. Now down. Down. The Get out. There we go. Why is it so laggy? It makes it a lot. Can I sell my house? I've kind of lost all my money. <laughs> oh, it, it went up in value. Yes, yeah, sell the house. You aren't able to find a buyer. It didn't just lower the price. I don't need all of it. Ramona Septicai passed away, my little sister. Why did my happiness go up? <laughs> <laughs> now that I have so much money, can I get my bunions treated, please? Bunions never go away. Your ex-girlfriend Rita wants to get back together. Who, who are you? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's get back together. You want a baby now? No. <laughs> You should have known that's like where I draw the line. You have to have babies with me, otherwise we break up. Who cares if I'm like 77 years old and I won't be here to help you raise him. I have been arrested again. You see, this is why I wanted the money so I could defend myself. How do I keep escaping at the age of 78? Yes, another escape. It's so easy to get out of there. I think it might be harder on phones because I'm playing on a PC so I can use the arrows and it's a little bit easier. Could we please sell my house? I need the money for when I get arrested again. Oh, I managed to get one point five million. I just keep winning <laughs> because I couldn't sell it. It just went up in value in the meantime. Yay. A 20 year old. Yeah, go on a date. <laughs> I'm 80 years old. <laughs> Give her money so she'll like me. Give her 33,000. Now you must really like me. You want to have a baby? <laughs> Jason Bulb died. Got a lot of people dying, but uh, my happiness keeps on soaring. Oh, we tried to have a baby, but it didn't work. Try again. Come on. Where are you? There you go. You really like me, don't you? She doesn't want to have a baby now. What, what happened? What changed? Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what you want. I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna call it Gold Digger Jr. <laughs> <laughs> You're now the proud father of Gold Digger Junior Bulb. Oh, I've been arrested again. All right, uh, this time I'm going to appeal it and the destroyer is going to get me out of this. <laughs> Even though I'm sentenced to 961 years. You want two and a half million. I have a feeling you just don't want to represent me, so you keep raising the price. Yes, I got out again. No prison can hold me. <laughs> At 85 years of age, I'm still nimble. Oh my god, Rita still wants to get back with me. Uh, no, file a restraining order. She wants to break up. She said it's because you eat with your mouth open. For feck's sake, it's a bit of a coincidence that she leaves me as soon as I lose most of my money. 
Why is that good? Like, <laughs> it's like, it gives me a little happy ping when I get arrested again. 1,923 years. Come on, I did one murder. I've not done a single crime since. Leave me alone. I got out. Doesn't matter. You can't hold me. Oh, I'm very lonely. I need another pet. A black panther. That's what I need. I'm gonna name him wife so I can be like, oh, the wife's waiting for me back home because no one loves me. <laughs> While at a funeral, you find a briefcase. Keep it. It's mine. It's nice. Yeah, 400 bucks. Oh my god, Rita, you still don't want to get back with me. File another restraining order. Like, I'm 95 years of age. Your cat shit petter died. Oh, it's been a horrible year. My looks are at zero percent. <laughs> I wish the surgeons didn't all hate me. Look, you know what? I may as well commit a murder. I'll kill Feck and Rita. She called the police on me. Well, you have a restraining order, <laughs> so you shouldn't be near me either. You go to jail too. I think I'm actually going to make it to a hundred years old. Never mind. <laughs> 98 with half a million, though. That's been my most successful successful life yet. It's just like something went wrong somewhere along the line. It may have been the murdering. But yeah, we are gonna leave it there. Lightbulb died of natural causes in the end. He spent a lot of time in prison, but a lot of time escaping from prison too. And he became rich. He was a self-made millionaire. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more bit life, do let me know by either liking the video or leave a comment, whatever you want to do. And I do hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching as always, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.